When working with systems, we need to clearly define the systems. We need to figure out what the boundaries of the system are and what the initial conditions are in order to find the final conditions. In the case of Arctic sea ice, what initial conditions would be important to consider when trying to understand how the ice would respond to changes in atmospheric or oceanic temperature? You would have to consider the, uh, the temperature of the ice. You would also want to consider the thickness of the ice and the, the salt content of the seawater near the Arctic. And lastly, you would also want to look at historical data about atmospheric and oceanic temperatures. If you have that, atmos that historical data, you might be able to determine whether changes have taken place and if those changes are significant enough to cause changes to the, um, the state of the ice.